Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Why are 
boys so confusing? I just don't get them. I wonder what I can skip right you. you. Hello I there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. I've been thinking a lot about snails recently. They're slimy. Stick it in your ear. I'm gonna tell someone right now. After a while, crocodile. Check this out, fool. I can see why people say you're a true diplomat. I got a job to do, kid. This guy fell on my head. Sunny I don't think I'd feel any worse than I do like right now. I'm hungry oh, already. Stop it, pal. Hey. You really make me want to hit you. Oh, cool. Where'd you get that shirt? Okay, thanks, bye! Oh, you could stop me. I'm so bored. I wish something would happen. You'd make Crabble Snitch proud. I have to remember to take that show. Stay I have to train harder. Gosh, I can't believe this. Is four teams too many to be on? I wonder what. Can't wait to watch the game. Anyways, bye. Snot face! Hey, what's up? Oh, cool. Where'd you get that shirt? That doesn't give you the right to be a jerk. Okay, see ya. You know, despite all the jerks in this place, I really love this school. What's up? Oh, cool. Where'd you get that shirt? What's new? Oh, cool. Where'd you get that shirt? This is for you. Gotta go.